Safety first, Amber. Safety first. <coughs> I need some water. I might choke. What's the matter with you? <coughs> We're in Colorado. A little dry. The mountains are drying. We're trying to film stuff, Amber. How are we going to film anything if you're walking off? How are we How are we going to film anything if I'm choking the whole time? I'm going to grab a bottle of water. Jeez. Oh, Amber. And talk to the camera. Emote. You're not emoting. Hey, what's up? We've got Trent Harmon, Midland, and also Frankie Ballard. I'm Brian Taylor. I'm Amber Parker, and this is Hillbilly Live. Y'all access. Hillbilly Live. Y'all access. I have arrived at Brian's. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't know how to work this thing. I think I'm getting it, though. What are you cooking? Steak. Too dark, but yum. Well, he's ready for him. I know that. Henry, are you ready for steak? Meat's made to be flipped. It is. Well, maybe it cooks evenly in there somehow, and you don't have to flip it. And I have the thing turned up. And it's just going down and down. Wait, I think it's holding steady at 143 degrees. But I have it set for like 375. Yeah, shouldn't it, didn't it need to cook higher than that? I mean, I, I mean, I would think, I mean, I'm not an expert in math, but if you have it set at 375 and it's at 170, oh, 170, no, wait, 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 it's going back down to 140. If Brian ever offers to make you dinner, plan on starving. What do you want me to ask him about his marriage leading up to it? Whatever you want to ask. Why did you get married? Because <sighs> you are single. I guess you could ask that. What were you thinking? Amber just has this thing about marriage. She doesn't really think people should do it. She probably needs therapy, to be honest. Is she going to take half your money? Or was there a prenup? Did you have a prenup? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so I, Frankie, did you get a prenup? Yeah, that was all way too inappropriate. It's things that people want to know anyway. <laughs> did you get a prenup? Uh, okay. I mean, simple-minded people like me that aren't like famous country music singers, I don't have prenups because I'm not rich enough to have a prenup. I hope that I can marry into somebody that is rich enough that doesn't make me sign a prenup. So did Michelle make you sign a prenup? No. You got real lucky. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm staying married. Good. I got no choice. Yeah. Well, actually, she has no choice. I think that's more realistic. You think that's more realistic? Yeah. She getting rid of me. <laughs> she might if she hears this list. Dear Michelle, Michelle's Brian's wife in case you didn't know. Please don't divorce him. I would personally never do this stuff. <laughs> but that's your advice? But that's my advice. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, did you wait till the wedding night? That's inappropriate. That is inappropriate. <laughs> Wait a second. Who does she think she is? Howard Stern? I'm Howard Stern. She's a Robin. At least in our relationship. What kind of hair products does he use? <coughs> how did he learn how to flip his hair like that? I think that's very important to ask, really. The hair products? Hair products and flipping of the hair. That has nothing to do with his wedding, you realize that? Yeah, but it's okay. Okay. Hippity Live! Y'all access. I have a serious question. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Right. Since it's summertime. Uh-huh. Summer, summer, summertime. Women, some men, they wear thongs. Like in public? Like or just as underpants? 
Oh, swimsuits. Yeah. Uh huh. How does anybody wear anything up their behind? As someone who on occasion has worn a dress and on occasion that dress called for no panty lines, I can tell you from experience that it was awful. But most women, when I've said that, are like, it's not that bad, you can't really feel it once See, it's up there. I, I, no, no, I can feel when my shorts go up my behind and I pull them out. How can you walk around like that? I. And act like it's no big deal. I, I don't know because I wasn't a fan of it. But that's my serious question. Nice topic for a country music show, Brian. Where are we going with this? I don't know. I just, I was thinking about it. It's hot. It's hot and you're thinking about underwear up other people's butts. Dear Michelle, please, please, I beg you, do not divorce me. <laughs> not underwear. Not underwear. Bikinis. Just me Bikinis. Oh, Bikinis. yeah, swimsuits. But I guess it's the same. It, and how do they pass off bikinis as bikinis when really they're underwear? I mean... You mean like bikini cut underpants? Or are you talking about bathing suits? Bathing suits in general. Well, they're made of a different material. But they're still like underwear. Yeah, but you can tell the difference. But you're out naked almost. I'm not. All right, Miss Editing Amber. Stop making fun of me and let's get to the good stuff already. We're here with Trent Harmon. Say hi, Trent. Hey. Hi, Trent. Hey. There's a girl. What are you wearing? Wait, what are you I wearing? I don't know. It makes me stand like this. Okay. Brian? Looks good. You can direct traffic like that, too. All right. Teach Brian one of those poses. How Hold did you that. stand like that? What was that? All right. There's a girl. Right. You, just, you just like say stuff like that. To cars. I don't have a. I don't have a stupid looking. Where'd you get the stupid vest? Stupid looking. I'm in classy vest. Right. Classy vest. You put your foot in your mouth, buddy. That's I know. I usually do. That's, that's what, what I'm usually saying do. to this. That's what this what I usually do. Do. We're never gonna think, get an interview again if you I keep think insulting we're people. Fun at safety yeah. first, there, kiddos, and um, Mr. Brian Taylor. We. We'll I don't know anything about safety, though. Life lessons Brian missed out on. Oh my gosh, you're disappointing me so much I know, right now. I know. So, since you were the last winner of American Idol, we have American Idol trivia. Okay. I tried to get the answers from her so I could cheat and win, but apparently she wouldn't give them to me. Okay. Because she's like a good Christian or something. Okay. So, I've I just, heard of those. You can't have an unfair advantage. You're lucky yeah, to be here. Yeah, but he was all. on American Idol. I was. He knows American Idol. Like, he knows the judges. He knows but everything about it. I do. You know Kelly Clarkson? I know Randy Jackson. How are you going to not see Randy Jackson and, like, not say hey to him? Brian would just yell from a distance, and Randy would be like, who, who is that? Yeah, and I'd probably get another restraining order. I actually had my knife on me, my buck knife, and he signed it. There's a girl. That's, that's nice. That's nice. You're not going to get Randy Jackson to sign your knife. That's true. All right, let's get to business. I'm going to win right. this. I know. I, I, I feel like I'm going to win. Okay. Here we go. Question number one on the first season of American Idol. Hold on, hold on. We need, like, buzzing answers. What's your buzzing answer? I don't even know what that means. Like, you like a buzz, buzz in, like, like a, a ding, noise. Ding. ding, 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 or buzz. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. And mine's, hey. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Question number one. Get ready with your buzzer noise. All right. Ready. On the first season of American Idol, Kelly Clarkson, <laughs> Ryan Seacrest had a co-host. Who? No one knows the co-host. Says the guy currently co-hosting a show. I get multiple choice. Brian Dunkelman. Is it Gretchen Wieners? Brian. He said it. I'm, he I'm got about it. to get destroyed. Okay. This second he, question. He this got is, it. Is elementary. Oh, oh my God. I need to get oh. back to traffic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Back he has traffic. work to do. Okay, so okay, I'm ready. who won season one? Yep. Ah, yay. What's my buzzing answer? What's my buzzing sound? Hey. 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 
He buzzed in first. So Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. Casey. Casey. Casey she won one of them. That's the won first the first season. Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. You are way behind. Okay, here's a bonus question off that one. You're cheap. Bonus question off that one. Kelly Clarkson recorded a duet of "Because of You" with what? Hey, Reba. That's right, Brian finally got one! Brian finally got one! High five, baby. Just kidding, oh, man. Don't, don't, don't. High five you for beating me? Was this guy new? <laughs> <laughs> Is this guy new? A little, oh, a little. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay, last question. Oh, is this like the lightning round? This is the last and final question. It's also a multiple choice. Yeah, well, you know, like multiple Which choice. of the following people was not an American Idol judge? Ellen DeGeneres, Cara Diaguardi, or... I picked that one. I don't even know the rest of it. Snoop Dogg. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Never well, mind. You already, but you already kind of... No, I already, already messed in. up. I, don't, I can't even say the second Snoop Dogg. That's right. That's yes. right. So, okay. Oh, did that make it a tie? Oh. Okay, here's the tiebreaker. Who is Snoop Dogg hosting a show with right now? It has nothing to do with American Idol. Oh, man, I don't know. He's don't on a know. show right now. I, I, America's favorite sweetheart, Martha Stewart. Trent Harmon, is there nothing you don't know? I don't know you how. Right. You got that right. I don't right. know how they're staying safe in Colorado because yeah. I ain't directing the traffic. I gotta go. <laughs> Why does any man do anything in the whole damn world? Cause there's a girl. All right, all right, all right. Amber, damn it. I told you not to make that joke when we talked to Midland. Seriously. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Jesus. I love y'all's boots. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. Actually, we you all got from here. All the same, same boot, it's different same colors. Boot, different color. yeah. Same color, different batch. And then, look at this. This is how much. These are both worn holes. Wow, from. man. You, you, you are getting too. some. Yeah. yeah. These are only what? What did well, I buy? Know, me or does this seem like a really long time for grown men to be talking about shoes? This is Medlin, by the way. Hey, uh, yeah. We want to do some Spanish lessons with Medlin. Okay. We know only one of you is really fluent, but uh, I'm fluent in understanding. Tony, this is uh, very good yeah, stuff yeah. to actually help us because uh, I'm going to Mexico in about two weeks, three weeks. Where are you going? Going to Cancun. Oh, you're yeah. kidding me? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. My wife want a trip. I need to learn. I need a shot of tequila. People say I got a drinking problem. Necesito un shot uh, of chupita. Chupita? Dame, huh? No, you say dame, por favor, por favor, dame un chupita de tequila, wey. Da, what? Huh? Da, wey, wey, wey. Da, da, da me, means me, give, da, and then me. dame is dame. give me. But da. you started with, with, you gotta, okay, the say, trick is. I wonder if there's an actual app that will speak Spanish for me. That would help. In life, say general. Una más tequila. You can say that's that. That's good. But if you haven't had one, if por you're just showing up, you say por favor. Por you can just say okay. Because that's what. Thank you. Thank you. Please. If okay, I was I in Mexico, this. I'd Please. say oye, por favor, por favor, caber, dame una chupita de tequila, por favor. El el marca mejor. That's the best the best uh, brand that you got. Really. But you can just say un tequila por favor. Poor favor. Yeah. Poor favor. That sounds more yeah. like Ryan's speed. I'll go with that. One, one tequila, please. It's going to be yeah. all you. Also, one tequila, por favor. Gra gracias. Thank gracias, you. senor. Gracias. Por if more. you really want to impress him, say caballero. Cab means what? Caballero. Is that like a Camaro? Dad joke. That means gentleman. Like, it's a it's an old cowboy term. Like, the it's a sign of respect. Uh, or the old Mexican cowboys, boss. they call each other caballero. Yeah, that's that's fair. Say jefe is a nice one. Yeah. Caballero is, is good. Well, that means boss. Well, if, he's, like that. If, if he's an older man, you should pay him respect. It'll, but if he's like a young man, you can call If your him wife hears you say caballero and you roll your R's and you... But see, I can't get my R's to roll. Right, you got well, two weeks to jefe. practice. Just go with jefe. Right. Here we go. How about this one? She Where is the bathroom? People say I got a drinking problem. Where is the baño? Donde esta? Esta baño. Esta baño. Donde esta? El baño. El baño. El baño. Sí. El baño. Donde esta el baño? Okay, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. All right, what about this? I love country music. Me amo. Country music. Country music. Musica? Me quiero. Me quiero. La música del campo. 
Yeah. And then what about Trey de vaqueros. vaqueros. De vaqueros. Those cowboy music. I want to say that again. Me quiero la música de los vaqueros. Me quiero. Me quiero. Me quiero. Me amo. What's the first letter? M. 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 Me quiero. Me quiero. Te amo. No, no. Me gusta. Me gusta. Me gusta. Yeah. You say me gusta. Me gusta. Me gusta la música. La música. De. De. Los. Los. Vaqueros. What's that again? Vaqueros. That means cowboys. Vaqueros. Is this painful for anyone else? Or you yeah. can say del campo, which means the country of the actual. Del campo means actually of the country. My right, last Me one. Gusta la música del campo, vato. I have a drinking problem. People say I got a drinking problem. Uh, is this a wait? Is this a real <laughs> crack yeah. up or yeah? This is a real. Hey man, we can't. So if so I go to Mexico, I have to let them out. Ocho, no, ocho, ocho. Ocho. Tomando. Ono. Tomando. Yeah. Well, wow, just tank pretty damn good. Tank good. Just those pretend he's actually been responding. I like to that just refuses. So, just Carson, to ladies to and gentlemen, it. he is humble. No, no, he refuses to say it in the way of the language. Yeah. He will go. He will like do it as white like as he can possibly. Tengo un problema de tomando. Right? Problema. Oh, I got you. I thought Tengo un problema con tomando. I thought Beber is. Tomando is like the more slang. You say tomando, tomar. You can say. Tomar. You say beber. Beber is like. You say tomar. Tomando is like when you. Alcohol. Beber is like to have a tomando. sip of water. To, tomar, to, tomar is to like drink booze. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then, Tengo un problema con like tomando. Another one you need, need to know is a borracho. Brian, have you retained any of this? Is this a, did, has it sunk sunken in yet? No, I'm gonna have to watch it back on video to get all of this. Your story. People say I got a drinking problem, but I got no problem drinking it up. You know what's awesome about me? What? I give absolutely nothing but great advice. I wrote this on a lovely piece of paper because uh, we're very high class and we write to some pieces of paper. Yellow legal paper is the best you can get. Uh, see, that's what I thought. That's what I thought too. We were talking yeah, it, about this it earlier. It takes it to a whole other level of seriousness. All right, so uh, you've been married for how long now? Just over three months. I've been married now for about six months now. In case you were wondering, since Brian forgot to mention it, that's Frankie Ballard. Oh. Six months. Uh, so, congratulations. Uh, congrats to you too, man. Really. I know, I know uh, your wife's a wonderful woman. Yeah, I'm Seriously. very lucky. We both are. I mean, to find a woman to even say yes to us, I mean, good God almighty. It wasn't right. easy. <laughs> all right, so uh, bad marriage advice. Oh, it all started with a beer. This is very good stuff. Uh, so you want to stay out all night long and drink. That's easy for me to do as a musician. Yes. You know, and I can just write it off like, baby, I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. Now, you don't want to drink and drive, so you want to call her to have her come pick you up if you get stuck. Yeah. After drinking all night. That's very important. Yeah, because I think the first thing a, a lady like we're talking about wants to do is get up out of bed late at night, get in the car. And come pick you up. And come pick you yeah. up. And listen to all yeah. of your bullshit on the way home. Yes. About how great of a time you had when she was at home trying to make your socks white. And then thirdly, you want to call your wife by your ex-girlfriend's name. Oh man, that is... Because that's a winner. Dear Michelle, please don't divorce him. That's a winner. I, can't, I don't even know what to say about that one. That gets you stabbed, I think. You get well, your prison shank in the, in the side meat. Yeah, my wife would probably stab me. She would stab me. Okay, uh, then in an argument, you always want to make fun of her parents first. Oh. <laughs> Let's see that side eye again! It's a winner. I'm telling you, it's a winner every single time. Where did you come up with it? <laughs> oh, it all started with a beer. You also want to be <laughs> honest when she asks if she's fat, say yes. Dear Michelle, pretty please. That's that it. is terrible. <laughs> terrible. I don't think that's bad marriage advice. I think it's terrible marriage advice. No, but advice. it's somewhat good. I mean, I've been married for six months now. It's going good. And, and let me ask you, have you actually applied any of that advice to your own marriage? Oh shit, no. Ain't <laughs> crazy, baby, how we got here. Oh, it all started with a beer. Because here's our biggest problem. What's our biggest problem? We ain't famous.
We brought this giant backpack. It's got every piece of equipment in it except what I'm carrying right now. And I ended up wearing it instead of Brian. Oh, safety first! Helmet makes me a little bit over the top. talk heaven really makes you feel like hell. That's a good song. My little haggard. Damn. It sounds good. So I just. Do I say tonight? You don't have to say tonight. Just start. <coughs> All right, am I up? Am I on the big screen? Am I? Am I? You see me? Hi. Okay. Hippin' it live, y'all. Access.